Hello everyone and welcome to this broadcast. Uh, we are now in uh, Syria's uh, northwestern province of Idlib. Idlib is actually the last major rebel stronghold in the entire country. Uh, now we stand uh, at the entrance of uh, the Khan Sheikhoun town. Uh, Khan Sheikhoun is actually uh, uh, was a major rebel bastion in the southern countryside of Idlib. Uh, the Syrian army has started a military campaign uh, uh, last April uh, to uh, to uh, fight the ultra radical groups, the Al Qaeda linked groups in this region, and. Um, they, the army uh, actually advanced and kept fighting until uh, reaching Khan Sheikhoun, this strategic place. Uh, they captured uh, Khan Sheikhoun, which will be the launching pad for more uh, battles, more military uh, operations uh, toward Idlib. Uh, in fact, uh, this uh, place uh, was... Uh, um, was a bastion for the Al-Qaeda linked Nusra Front. They have, they had many, many fighters here. This was like a, a warehouse, like a storage for fighters and uh, guns uh, in the southern countryside of Idlib. And capturing it uh, was uh, very important for the army because uh, they uh, managed to, to besiege uh, rebel-held areas in the adjacent uh, nearby countryside of Hama province in central Syria. So actually, um, the uh, Khan Sheikhoun area was uh, very important uh, for the battle in Idlib and also in besieging uh, rebel-held areas in the northern countryside of uh, Hama as well. Uh, and the army has recently said uh, that after capturing Khan Sheikhoun, uh, all of the areas in the northern countryside of Hama uh, fail uh, to the army. The rebels uh, were defeated. Uh, and actually, uh, we can uh, see... Uh, uh, several signs of the battles that took place in this area. Uh, we have uh, destroyed the buildings on our left. Um, we also have uh, signs uh, uh, left by the ultra-radical uh, groups, uh, the Al-Qaeda linked Nusra Front in this uh, place. So as we can see, uh, we see military personnel, military vehicles still uh, entering uh, Khan Sheikhoun. Um, of course, because uh, the army also uh, had to uh, to clean this area from uh, mines and explosive devices, uh, they said that the rebels actually left a large number of mines in the, this area, uh, and the army, uh, the engineering units, and the Syrian army uh, took their uh, part in removing uh, them. Uh, so uh, we were taken on uh, this trip uh, by the Syrian army. They took reporters uh, from Damascus and uh, this is our first time here uh, because the Syrian army captured this uh, area and it's the first time uh, the, uh, the army units entered it uh, since 2012 when the, when the rebel groups uh, took over. So as we said, uh, this uh, battle, the Idlib battle, is actually very important because if Idlib is uh, completely back under the government control, then the, the rebellion uh, in Syria will be uh, defeated. The, the rebel groups, the ultra-radical rebel groups, will be defeated. Of course, it's not going to be an easy battle, but uh, the beginning of this battle, the, the achievements that have so far been made, uh, they usher uh, well in the entire campaign because uh, this area is so important. It uh, enabled the Syrian army to, to take uh, control of the entire northern countryside of Hama and also to reach close to the, uh, to, to the main, to the main uh, road uh, linking the capital Damascus to Aleppo because this road has been cut off near Idlib and um, capturing uh, Khan Sheikhoun and advancing forward uh, will uh, lead to, to the Syrian army t retaking the, the international road that link Damas Damascus with the northern uh, province of Aleppo.
المعرة معرة النعمان وإن شاء الله عقبال سوريا كاملة إن شاء الله عقبال النصر لسوريا وتصير سوريا كاملة من النصر يعطيك العافية معلش تحكينا هلا انتم وين بعد خان شيخون؟ نحن بخان شيخون وان شاء الله قريبا باتجاه المعره والنصر لسوريا عقبال ما نطهر سوريا كامله من الارهاب. بتاملين انه ادلب ان شاء الله رح ترجع؟ ان شاء الله كلياتها رح ترجع، ان شاء الله كلياتها رح ترجع والله يدمنا سياده الرئيس. Uh, so uh, this uh, military soldier uh, said that uh, after capturing Khan Sheikhoun, the army is uh, moving forward uh, to capture another uh, strategic area, uh, which is called Marit al Naman in, uh, in Idlib, uh, which is part of the entire Idlib campaign uh, to retake that entire province and uh, defeat uh, the rebellion that has been taking place for so long in this country. Uh, it's worth noting that uh, areas in the countryside uh, of Hama and uh, the adjacent Idlib province are included in the de-escalation zones deal established by Russia and Turkey last September. Under the deal, Turkish observation points were set up in areas in Idlib and Hama. However, the deal failed to materialize as the Al-Qaeda-linked uh, Nusra Front rejected to withdraw and battles flared uh, last April. Uh, earlier this month, Russia and Turkey supervised the new ceasefire in the de-escalation zone, but it was quick to fall apart. And, uh, and the battles renewed and the army ended up capturing this strategic uh, area in, in Idlib and also capturing key towns in northern Hama countryside. Because, the, because of the st strategic uh, geographic location of, uh, this, um, of this town. Uh, of course, uh, the Syrian army has uh, recently uh, called uh, uh, for civilians, uh, the Syrian government in general, to return to their, their areas uh, uh, after, this, uh, after cleaning them from mines and explosive devices. Uh, so the, the government is exerting efforts now uh, for, to, to facilitate the return of civilians uh, to their homes in uh, Idlib and uh, northern uh, Hama. As we were uh, close uh, to the road uh, to Khan Sheikhoun, we saw that some uh, basic uh, uh, repairments uh, were made uh, to the road so that uh, it could be easier for people to return. Uh, for the Syrian army, actually, securing Idlib would uh, almost uh, deal a, def a definite defeat to the over eight year long insurgency. Um, Idlib has uh, also uh, a strategic importance as it shares a border area with Turkey to the north. It's also close to the coastal province of Latakia, um, which contain a Russian run air base repeatedly targeted by rebels uh, launched from Idlib. The capital city of Idlib also lies close to the international road linking Damascus with Aleppo, as we said, and around 3 million people are living in Idlib, uh, including those evacuated from many other areas during the surrenders of rebels in other parts of the country. Uh, but uh, in, the, in the places where battles have been recently taken place, the civilian actually uh, fled to nearby areas, so it's expected that um, when this uh, place is uh, completely clean and uh, 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 empty of uh, explosive devices and mines, people would start uh, returning to their homes. Uh, so, as we said, we were on a trip uh, by, uh, taken by the Syrian army, a trip for journalists in Damascus. Uh, so, uh, after uh, finishing here in Khan Sheikhoun uh, and seeing the entrance of the uh, town, we will be taken to another area that was uh, recently taken by the army. So, uh, we will see where we go next.
Welcome back everyone. Uh, now we are in the town of Morek, uh, now in the northern countryside of Hama. Uh, a little while ago we were taken to the southern countryside of Idlib. Now we move to the adjacent uh, northern countryside of Hama. This is the town of Morek. This is one of the strategic towns the rebels used to control ahead of the recent military campaign that ended up with the army capturing this town um, a couple of days ago. Uh, the importance of this place uh, emanates from its location actually and also because the Turkish uh, military has an observation point as we can see there in the distance uh, that uh, building in the, in the far distance uh, it's a military uh, observation point uh, for the Turkish army uh, because under the uh, Russian uh, Turkish de-escalation zones the uh, Turkey set up uh, a few observation points uh, in Idlib and also in Hama this is one uh, of the observation points in Morik and Hama, uh, actually it has now become besieged by the army which captured the town. Um, there are Turkish soldiers inside and also uh, some of the rebel commanders who retreated after the army took control of this area and they took uh, shelter in that uh, place. Of course because Turkey uh, was negotiating uh, with Russia on behalf of the rebels while Russia was negotiating on behalf of the rebels. Um, the de-escalation zones deal that apparently uh, fell apart uh, because uh, Al-Qaeda linked groups uh, refused to uh, retreat and refused to hand over their heavy weapons so the, uh, the battles flared up again and the army uh, captured this place. Uh, now the Turkish observation point is besieged uh, and as we can see in the distance uh, maybe maybe there will be some negotiations for the withdrawal of the Turkish soldiers uh, from this observation point. So with Morik uh, and other towns in the northern countryside of uh, Hama are empty of rebels, uh, the entire Hama province uh, is, uh, actually has actually returned under the government control. Uh, now the army is uh, moving forward in uh, Idlib countryside uh, in order to uh, liberate it uh, from uh, the ultra-radical uh, Nusra Front which are linked uh, and affiliated with Al-Qaeda. Uh, so uh, this, uh, as uh, we talked about Morik now that we are in now, this is the residential part where we can see uh, destruction. Uh, of course, battles took place in this uh, area. Uh, all of the, these buildings that we can see in the distance are in Morik. And, uh, and this uh, also... This is a very important, actually, achievement and victory for the Syrian army. So we have taken a glimpse, uh, a look uh, on these areas that were taken recently by the army in the campaign uh, that has been uh, dragging on since April uh, in order to dislodge uh, the, uh, the rebels from uh, their last major strongholds uh, in uh, northern Hama countryside and also in Idlib province. Um, so the army uh, said in a statement recently that it will continue to fight rebels, uh, the, uh, the, the terror labeled groups, until the full liberation of all of Syria. Um, while we are here, we could still hear some bombing from a distance, of course, because all of these areas are close to one another. Uh, so the battles are not taking place so far away. So we could still hear uh, bombings and shelling from time to time in this area.